Hello everyone, I am so excited to be filming this video today. I asked for some suggestions of what all of you would like to see on my Instagram account and I got some suggestions of how to deal with negative thoughts. Wow, I think this topic is so so important, especially now during lockdown. Um, for anyone, especially people with anxiety or depression, it could be really difficult to focus on the positives in life when everything seems so negative around us. For me, I know quite often I would attend to the negatives and although I've spoken about this on my blog, I really, really think it's important to be able to show you it properly, um, physically, visibly. Um, this is such a good technique that I've been using to really help me feel grateful and see the positives in every single day of my life. My technique is this little notebook here. Uh, I call this my thankfulness journal. It was bought for me by my lovely boyfriend um, and it's got my favourite dog in it. So cute. Anyway, um, so in here, I make sure to write every single day and I have certain headings. It's like a mood tracker, thankfulness journal, positivity journal, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to talk through um, what I do every day in order to help me filter out some of the negatives and become more focused on the positives in life. I do think it's important not to completely ignore negative thoughts in your life. You know, all thoughts are valid. It's important to get a good balance. But anyway, um, I do really, really think that this technique is so helpful because it doesn't ignore the negatives as well. It gives you space to um, record your mood. You know, you could be feeling sad, so you write that down. You know, it's just a way of reflecting on your day, but more focused on the positive side of things. The amount of planes and stuff that are going past my window whilst I'm making this is so annoying. So this is just what it looks like inside. As you can see, I don't really write too much. It's just a really quick, easy, um, effortless way, really, to just change your thought processes. So at the top, I'll use this one as an example. I write the date and then I represent and like explain the way I'm feeling just with um, like a smiley face or a sad face. I do do like a middle face, like neutral. I don't know what you call them, but yeah. Um, this day obviously I was quite sad. I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, that probably wasn't the best one to show. <laughs> okay, this one's a bit better because it shows me going from being like a bit uh, in the morning and then getting happier during the day and in the evening, that's probably better as it shows like um, the change in emotions that you experience throughout the day. I'm getting right up close to the camera in this. I'm really sorry, it's quite freaky. <laughs> okay, so now I have three headings that I focus on to write down a positive thing that's happened um, in my day. So I'm gonna use my one from yesterday as an example. So I start off with writing something good that's happened. So I wrote that I finished lots of my psychology work um, very quickly. So it meant that, you know, I wouldn't have to be doing it all throughout the week. Then I have the proud of section. I think this one's really important because um, instead of just thinking of something good, you know, because that could be anything that could be something that someone else has done, it's thinking about something that you've done and forcing you to um, see the positives and the good in yourself at least one thing every single day. So I wrote that I was proud of improving my website yesterday. I put a bit of work into it um, and I also made a new blog post. So I'm always proud of myself when I have the courage to write a new one of them. And then lastly, I write something that I'm thankful for. So yesterday it was my nan's birthday and I got to see her at her door. So, you know, I wrote that because despite all the circumstances, we're still able to sing happy birthday to her. The thing I really love about this technique is it is so easy and it doesn't take up a lot of time. You don't need any practice for it. And it's a really, really, really good way. Um, it doesn't mean it's like intruding on your life. You know, it's just something that you can do in the evenings to reflect and by consciously thinking and forcing yourself to look for positives in your life, you will definitely find them. You know, I've had some days where I'm like, oh my word, this has been such a bad day. I'm not going to be able to find anything. But when you're really taking the time to properly think about it and properly reflect on your day and working your way through it, I promise you that you will definitely find at least something, no matter how big or small it is. You know, some days you might have something really, really amazing that's happened and you're like, oh, I know exactly what to write, you know? 
you may have got an award from school or something you're like yeah that's my something good that's my something i'm proud of and other days your something you're proud of might just be that you were able to get out of bed that day you know it's just a very personal thing to you and everyone's is going to be so so different honestly all it needs is a little notebook and pen you don't need something big because like i said you know it's just one sentence for each thing and little drawings but I really, really, really have found this beneficial. It does take time, you know, at first it might just seem like, oh, like this is effort, what's this gonna do? Um, but over time, I've really found myself become a much more positive person. I'm not attending to the negatives quite as much as I used to. For example, the other day I lost my job, um, my place of work got shut, and normally I would focus on that for ages. I'd be like, oh my word, no, this is like so stressful. How am I going to cope? Like, I need to get a new job. Like, ah, it's just such an anxiety inducing situation if you think about it. But on the other hand, I got some really amazing news. And that was the one thing that I really, really, really focused on rather than losing my job. And at the end of the day, I literally forgot that I lost my job because I was just so focused on this positive aspect in my life. It takes some time to really get used to this like um for example that that situation i've just explained that happened the other day and i have been doing this notebook for about a month so obviously i'm a bit more in tune to it so my big message with this is to take time you're not going to be able to see you know impact straight away you know um you can't just go from really attending to the negatives to suddenly being like oh everything's so positive but please just persevere with it i promise you that it will really really change the way that you and perceive and think about your life um, and although bad things will still happen it's really important that we do consider and acknowledge the good things that happen every single day and how lucky we are to be alive really anyway i hope that this video um, has provided you with something helpful something useful that you want to try out um, please let me know if you do try out this technique and how you find it i think it's really really helpful from a reflection point of view and to be grateful for your life if you did like this video, please um, leave a like and subscribe to get more anxiety tips in the future.